At the HP series of 3D printers, and MJF is the technology, what this can do for us is help us to unlock a lot of different applications in a wide range of industries, from automotive to medical, to prosthesis, and even into mass manufacture on a wide scale, and even being able to customize that further. The way that we unlock this is through a wide range of materials. We have different grades of nylon, we have polypropylene, and we also have a TPU to help us look at some of those flexible applications too. Now, also with all these different materials, through the system, it lets us create homogenous parts. So it means we don't have any weak orientations, which means we don't have to suffer when we look at additive as a process, and we can only get those benefits that are available through this kind of technology. So let's have a look at some of the different applications that we can do with this machine. Parts like this, where we can just standard replace conventional manufacturing, whether that's molding or machining, whatever it may be. Things like this, where we have high minimum order quantities and we need to replace these parts pretty quickly, we can produce these through the MJF system. And again, looking at these fragile parts that even through conventional methods may be a little bit more fragile, you can see the ductility that we have here is much stronger than we'd normally expect. And again, that all comes down to the homogenous system. What we can also do is then improve on conventional designs. So things like this, where we look at a generative system where we can sort of reduce the strength to weight within that part, but also still keep, keep the mechanical properties. Using systems like generative design massively go hand in hand with the HP technology and allow us to unlock further applications and also reducing the material that we need to use for these processes, which is a win-win all round. We can also then look at producing the right part to hugely influence the manufacturing process. So things like this, where we have a robot gripper and we use positive and negative air pressure to ultimately control the opening and closing. Now, I don't know about you, but I can't think of any other way we've manufactured this part to this quality and also to this functionality than we would do through MJF. So it's helping us to unlock even further applications and better use this technology for smoother processing. So some of the applications we've just seen there, what they look at is how this technology can look into like automotive and even strength to weight parts and things along those lines. But also when we look at end use products, with this one in particular being in the cosmetic industry, it's all about how parts look. Okay, so you can see it's been finished to a high standard. So when we look at this lipstick case in here, looking at that from a manufacturing point of view, limited editions, whether that's custom for your customer base, anything like that, this technology goes hand in hand with whatever applications you want to look at. So if you want to know more about the HP technology, how we can look at mass manufacture, customising this, improving designs, whatever it may be, reach out to the 3DG VRE team and we'll be more than happy to help you down this journey.